Well, good morning. A little cool out there with temperatures in the 40s and the 50s. As you look outside on our Syntex Roof Systems camera in Colleen, things are quiet, but we are tracking a couple of rain showers as we are kicking off your Thursday. Some of those showers moving from south to north across the area. They're generally light, but you may encounter some of these. You may have to use a windshield wiper here from time to time. You can see there, Turnersville, Gatesville, you're seeing some of that rain down 36 uh, on the north side of Lake Belton. Also some showers nearing Highway 190 between Temple and Rogers. Those showers lifting from south to north as well. And to Milam County, some showers down into Burleson County as well. All that activity moving from south to north. Anything out there today is going to be light, and most of it will get out of here by the time we head towards lunchtime. I think that's when we'll get some drier air working into our atmosphere. That may actually bring us a couple of pockets of sunshine as we get into the mid 60s. So, future track shows you that cloud cover that's around right now, upper 30s, lower 40s. It's kind of overdue or underdoing rather our temperatures. We're a little warmer now, so the dry air probably showing up a little too much on future track. Still, I think we'll see some pockets of sunshine try to develop east of I-35. That'll get us in the mid 60s. Where you don't get the sunshine though, upper 50s, lower 60s on the way. Tomorrow is when you need to walk out the door and have that umbrella handy, even if it's not raining when you walk out the door in the morning, because these showers will work in from west to east across the area going through the day. And I do expect a pretty high coverage of this, about an 80% chance of rain. Now, the totals have gone down. You'll see that in a second, and you can kind of see why the intensity not near as high as it was yesterday. That's because the energy from the storm is likely going to pass a little further to our north which means we just don't get as much moisture in our atmosphere and as much lift to create those showers. So a lot of this activity is going to be generally light to moderate rain that moves through, and you probably won't even hear any thunder from it. By no means will it be severe winter weather. That's the good news. It will be a chilly rain, though, 40s and 50s as it pivots on through, and it's all out of here as we get into the evening on Friday into Saturday morning. Saturday looking quiet and sunshine will work in for the weekend. I mentioned those totals have gone down. Yesterday we were looking at one to one and a half inches. Now you get rid of that lift, you get rid of that moisture. We're looking at closer to a half inch of rain that could be possible. Some lucky folks, especially north of Waco, typical have a shot at an inch. 64 Thursday, 54 on Friday. We're in the 60s Monday and Tuesday, closer to the upper 60s to end the week. Same in the Brazos Valley, upper 50s there on Saturday, 60s on Sunday. We're looking at temperatures nearing 70 for the weekend with shower and thunderstorm chances returning. I'm Shaji Adam reporting from AT&T Stadium where we had the 1A state championship between the Oglesby Tigers and the Benjamin Mustangs. It was a back and forth game to start off. Oglesby led by Kyler Fawcett who takes the ball and gets into the end zone. Oglesby struck first. It was a tied game late in the